Okay. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Burly Fishing and another mega unboxing comparison video. Our review is in from November 2020. All the subscription boxes we got, plus a lot of bonuses. Coming your way in this video. Before we get to that, if you guys like the content, unboxing, reviews, going fishing, all that jazz, we do that right here on the channel. So consider subscribing. Maybe smash that like on this video and ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more stuff. Real quick on the giveaway details, you guys. This giveaway will run for 10 days. All you gotta do to qualify for it is be a subscriber and comment below. Here's what I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear your bright spot. What's going well for you right now, this holiday season? I hope you're having a good holiday season. I hope that you're able to spend some time in some way with your family, and I hope that you're staying safe. So I wanna hear from you. What is going well? Just pick one thing. Doesn't have to be fishing related. It could be anything to do with your life whatsoever. I just wanna hear what's going well for you. So drop that in a comment below. You'll be entered into the giveaway, and that's it. And then keep your notifications on because I will comment back at you once I choose the winner. And if you don't have your notifications on, you won't know. And I wanna hear back from you within 24 hours to be fair to everyone else. Otherwise, I will have to pick another winner. We will have a winner. Somebody's gonna win these baits, and it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait for it. So be sure to be a subscriber and comment below. This is, again, a giveaway. This is actually our last one of the year. After this, we're gonna do it differently in 2021. I gotta shake things up. I don't want, yeah, I don't want this to get stale or boring. So this is the last one we're gonna do like this. I will do more giveaways on the channel, of course, because I love doing them, but I wanna do them maybe in a different way. So stay tuned for that. I'll let you know more in the new year. Oh gosh, I hope it's a better year. We'll see. All right, so today we've got Oh my gosh, so many boxes, plus more. Some that we didn't even ever get, we'll talk about that. Uh, and some that were subscriber boxes and other things that were sent. We did a lot of unboxings this month. So here's what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna recap the main five boxes I've gotten for the past couple months. I'm gonna let you know what I think is good about them, bad about them, that kind of stuff. And then you guys can formulate your own opinion and your own decision as to whether or not you wanna invest into those boxes. I'll let you know what my personal power rankings are, keeping in mind, these are my opinions. I'm from the Midwest. I fish colder waters. It is what it is. The bite's been off since all of November. Uh, so just bear that in mind, right? If I say like, I don't want to throw frogs right now, for example, that's just me and my opinions. And keeping in mind that we've already unboxed these things, I'm just going to add a little, little, little salt bay, if you will, of, you know, just what I found out from actually getting a chance to put these baits in the water, right? So it's not a full on unboxing. Just want to show you every bait that was in the box and a couple quick thoughts on each. As for the giveaway this month, you guys, here is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you a tackle box as always. We're going back to the old Plano waterproof, but these are fantastic tackle boxes I think you're going to like. And of course, we're going to throw a bunch of baits in it. But being that it is the last unboxing giveaway of the year, there's going to be some extras. This is not just limited to eight baits. I'm going to pack this thing up. They, uh, the baits will not all fit into this thing and some of them will be unused baits because I did get a bunch of duplicates and a bunch of baits that I'm not using right now. So stay tuned. There's going to be a ton. I'll show you what's in it at the end of the video. So let's kick this thing off the way we always do with good old six cents fishing. This is the six cents premium super six sack. It was from October. I'm going to get these things back on track by the way for 2021. So we will be unboxing the month in the month, the way it's supposed to be. We're gonna fix that, all right? But bear in mind, this is from October. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's all the baits. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll walk through them. Hang on, hang on. So first up from Sixth Sense, we had this suspending lipless bait. It's a great looking lipless bait. It's got like some air chambers in it, so it's gonna suspend and float, mind you, very slowly to the surface, rather than just sinking rapidly or performing really the same way that a normal lipless bait does. Nonetheless, great looking bait. I did like fishing it. I didn't find a situation where it was gonna work well for me, but I was fishing mostly the river that day, so keep that in mind. Um, I think it's awesome. I think it's something that I will be throwing around a lot more, and it's been staying in my main tackle box all month. Hoping 
next spring probably that I get a better chance to hopefully land a fish on that. Then we had our two RIP baits from the box. So if you guys saw the Sixth Sense on the water review, you'll notice this is not that beautiful craw color, that bright glittery red that we had in the Awesome Cloud9 Mini Mag series. This is a Black Magic, which I think is one of the dopest colors that they carry, by the way. But that craw color was pretty sweet too. We did land a couple dang fish on it, which was sweet, but then good old Toothy Critter came and took it from us and it was sad. Then we had the Quake. You'll notice this is not the boiled craw color. It came in that bright, vibrant orange and red craw color. This one is in more of a natural gill color, which is fine. Like I really like this color for most of the waters that I fish. Would have loved to have had that boil cross still, but again, alas, we lost that at the dam on another big old toothy critter. Things happen. Then we had the Divine Swim Jig. These things are awesome. If you guys haven't fished them before, one of my favorite swim jigs of all time. This is not the color that came in the box. I didn't lose this one, in the water at least. I just can't locate it at the current moment. I think it's in my boat somewhere, but nonetheless, this is another variation, just a different color. I think they look Awesome, right? Pair that up with some of the plastics that came in the sack this month. We had some Divine Swim Baits. This is my mix and match set because I mostly use them whenever they come in this sack. I just replenish my stocks. Here's a couple uh, in the blue and green, that like bright, vibrant green, almost chartreuse that they have in there, as well as the color that originally came with this sack this month, which was that uh, what do they even call it? Platinum white. It's like silver and gold flakes to it. So pretty shiny, pretty shimmery, pretty awesome. Did like that. And we had some divine shaky worms, the 6.3 inch edition in a watermelon red, which is a pretty fantastic color. Lots of action to these things. I do love them. I really like the 6.3 inch edition. Seems to be something I fish more often than the longer ones that they carry. They have like a, a medium length and a super long as well. This is the shortest that they carry. Great plastics though. Durability on those Divine Swims, not so great, but uh, great action on them for sure. Oh, and last but not least, in the premium sack, at least in my case, they included this. I heard not everybody got them, but these are the reusable non-waterproof but water resistant zipper bags and they're pretty fantastic got a little bait label on there got their logo on it and then it's reinforced with this nylon on the side so it doesn't fall apart doesn't feel too cheap i kind of like it and it's something i've been using to carry some of the plastics when i'm on the water testing some of these boxes so reusability factor very high and that's it you know we lost a lot of the baits that were in that box unfortunately, uh, but nonetheless, Stellar Box, as always, sack, whatever. You guys get the point. Next up, we had Secret Bait Box. It's from Outlet Bait and Tackle. Now, this is their newer Premier Bass Box. It's something they just started carrying. Comes in at a hot $27 and packs in a whopping like 40 plus dollars in baits. There's a little bait card I kept for whatever reason. So for those of you at home, I wanna see some of the value, there it is. In this box, we had uh, some interesting baits. We had this poppin' bug. It's like bullfrog colored giant water bug with a big old scooped mouth. If you guys watched the On The Water review, uh, I popped this thing around just, just for you guys, just for you guys. It spits a ton of water, like a ton. It includes a light wire EWG hook that you can rig it up to. It's like a super squishy, like durable foam material. Do not store this with other plastics or baits. It will melt. I had a dragonfly, same material. It fell apart, just full FYI. We had two sets of plastics in this box. I did find out afterwards the O-Bait. This is a nice pearl white fluke. Fantastic bait to be thrown around, colder weather, spring and fall. Uh, didn't get a chance to snag anything on it. Did try rigging it a few different ways, but you know, is what it is. So I found out that Obate is their house brand, right? So I, I said, man, these seem to be in these boxes a lot. Well, lo and behold, it's a, their own brand. So that makes sense. So Obate, Outlet Bait and Tackle, probably should figure that out. Anyways, it's their house baits, but they're fine. They're fine plastics. They get the job done. We had these hog tonic tubes from Power Team Lures, 
these are decent tubes. I mean, they're a good size, 3.5 inch, uh, cool color, like this craw with some blue flake in it. And they had like the, the bigger appendages on the side as well as the normal like tentacly things you get on tubes. I liked it, didn't get a chance to catch anything on it, just rigged it to a tube jig. There's a lot of different ways you could use these things. Then we had a nice shallow diving crankbait. So here's that Rapala, it's like a four foot diving crankbait. Did get a chance to throw this around a bit. Fishes very well, runs very true. Uh, wouldn't expect really anything less from a Rapala bait. Comes with this nice natural color as well, which is something I'd definitely be throwing around in my waters. So I dig it, I can dig that. Here's a bait I didn't dig. So this is the Lunker Hunt Impact Series lipless. And I told you guys this was on Paul's least favorite baits list. And now I think I get why. I did actually get a bite on it, which was cool, but I lost that fish almost immediately. I think it would have been really nice if these were more of that like sweeping, big sweeping treble hooks. I never seem to lose fish quite as often on these six cents hooks. Those are so nice. Kind of helps you keep that fish pinned versus these little stubby straight up and down shank styles, right? Arguably one might be better for the fish versus the other. It's up in the air, but I mean, I'd rather land the fish than not, just, just saying. Uh, but the other thing I had a problem with with this bait in particular is it doesn't move much. You don't really feel it. There's not a lot of sensitivity, even on braid. I just wasn't feeling this thing moving. Uh, it's very, like a very subtle lipless, which could work situationally, just didn't work for me. Just a thought. Finally, we had a couple pieces of terminal tackle in here. So we had, I don't think any gear, right? Oh, <laughs> there was there was a koozie. That was pretty cool. And some beef jerky. So you got a little boat snack as well. Eh, bonus stuff. So then we had this VMC Tokyo rig with a flipping hook attached to it, which is pretty sweet. You can see I rigged her up real heavy. This is a cool little variation that I like to do to my Tokyo rig sometimes, especially when the bite's tough, but rig it a little bit heavier and then put these weights. These are just flipping weights from Wu Tungsten. You just put them opposing each other like this. Then when you hop this thing up and down on the bottom, get a little clacking sound. So cool little variation you can do. Love me some Tokyo rigs though. Definitely allows you to suspend floating plastics like just off the bottom and just pause it right in front of fish's face for a long, long time can make a big difference. And finally, we had these guys. Now these, I'm not the biggest fan of, but this is just a lead Nico weight, a little nail weight, right? With a skirt to it. The skirt, in my opinion, super duper long, way too long for most situations. I think it looks kind of silly on the bottom, just all spread out. Uh, and really, I kind of wish there was more of it. So if it was maybe like that length right there, and maybe maybe more strands in there it could do better. I don't know. I've just never really had luck on these. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys like throwing these around? Are these your jam? Is this something you like to do with your Nico rigging? Hit me up. Didn't have any luck on it this time, but hey, you never know. So again, that was Outlet Bait and Tackle Secret Bait Box, a new Premier Bass Box. That was one that I got sent to me for free, so that was pretty cool of them to think of me in that way. And let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments. As we go by, box by box. Let me know what you're thinking. We're going to get to our power rankings here in just a little bit. Couple boxes left. All right. So next up, we got Tackle Monkey. This is their November box. This was the last box I did for the month on the channel. And I think you guys can agree with me. Maybe I haven't read the comments on that yet because I'm recording this before posting that video, but maybe you'll agree with me on this. This was at first disappointing. And then at the end, I was like, oh, this, 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 this is kind of cool, All right? So let me go through kind of bait by bait here. So we had these Yum Christy Cross. Love me some Christy Cross. Lots of action on these things. And this was also, mind you, this super flashy version. <laughs> so there's all this silver flash on the back. It, it's, it's a pretty dope bait. You got, you got to agree on that. I like that. We had the uh, good old stanky Buddha baits. This was that speed worm. Again, no idea on this color. It's like a green pumpkin, maybe a candy grass kind of combo there. And then you got that tail that you just rip that little notch there. Rig this up to a belly weighted hook, EWG, Texas rigging, all sorts of stuff. But as you're swimming it through the water, just this tail is going to give you a lot of extra action. Do love these. Got a chance to fish around for a bit. No luck, but 
it moves pretty well in the water. Then we had our Blitz Frog, P-H-R-O-G, Frog, great colorway. Do like this, they super glued the bottom so it's supposed to take on less water, I guess, be more buoyant, which could be good. Does a weird thing though where it holds a lot of air, right? So I don't know if that's gonna be an issue with it refilling or just not squishing down with the bite. It's probably, it's probably fine, I'm probably overcomplicating the thing, but overall great frog. It's November in Michigan, not gonna throw it, right? So that's unfortunately like a dud for me in this box. Until summer, then I'll slam it. All right, then we had this Rick Kloon jerk bait, which at first I was like, ah, kind of looks a little bit cheap, not the greatest looking kind of jerk bait in the world. Then I got to fish it, and you guys, this is a pretty sweet jerk bait. Got to admit, so this thing has a weight transfer system, which means you can cast it right up over them there mountains. You can cast this thing a mile, super easy to cast, super easy to fish, got a good slashing action to it, it moves a ton in the water when you pop your rod, uh, which was good to see, and it is suspending. It wasn't labeled on the box, it is suspended. Also, these hooks are super sharp, put one right through my fingy, it was not fun. Uh, all in all, Solid jerkbait, did like that. So that, you know, it was like, I like the plastics, like the jerkbait, not cool about the frog. Then we had the AccuCull Grip Savers, which I did end up putting on my Bass X rod. You guys remember, I have a very tiny office. Oh gosh. So I did end up putting them on that Bass X rod and I think they look pretty good. I was proud of this, I'm happy with it. Took me like five seconds. I fished this thing all day yesterday, kind of testing out baits from a bunch of different boxes. Oh my gosh, get, go back in your home, dude, I'm trying to talk. So I got a chance to use those. Does have a good grip. Didn't matter if my hands were wet, it was all good. So I like it, it's pretty happy with that. And it covers up that super dirty cork. I've had that rod, the Bass X rod with the cork on it for a long time. I've never cleaned it. Oh, that's actually a good point. How do you guys keep your cork clean hit me up in the comments, very interested. There's like a method to that. Never thought about it, just let it get dirty and then ignore it, you know? So again, that was the Tackle Monkey box. So not a ton of baits, it is another $27 box, but if we compare that price range, which one of these two do you think was better? Secret Bait Box or Tackle Monkey? Interested. So before, I wrap things up with Monster Bass and MTB. There was a few surprises here this month. I wanna start with the, the bad news first. So what I do for the channel, you guys, is I pick up a bunch of boxes, right? That's kind of what we do here. And we unbox them and we try to help you guys decide if it's worth your hard earned money to subscribe to that company. I'm not here to slam any companies. I'm not here to you know, over promote one, under promote another, make any company look bad. I'm literally here to give you my opinion and show you what's in these boxes so you can formulate your own opinion before spending the money. Cause yes, it's a mystery box, but I don't know about you, it's kind of like lighting $35 on fire sometimes, which isn't as fun, unless you're into that thing. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> different strokes for different folks, right? Uh, but for me, no. Like I, I do kind of risk it for the channel, for the content, for the people, because it's, it's kind of fun in that way and it does pay off for the channel. But I get when you, where you guys are always asking like, hey, which box should I be getting? So let me tell you, about some experiences I've had this month. Uh, first one I'm gonna talk about, there's a company called Real Tackle Box, R-E-E-L. And I want you guys to know about my experience. I'm just gonna give you the facts and I'm sure you can draw your own conclusion here. But here's what happened. Real Tackle Box, it's a monthly subscription box. They allegedly have a ton of different like multi-species, catfish only, saltwater boxes, ice fishing boxes. You know, they got it all, which was appealing to me. So I was like, oh, let's try this one out. So I ordered my box October 8th. I'm recording this video on November 29th. I've had one customer service interaction with them and I'll tell you what led up to this. This is uh, <clears throat> story time, folks. Okay, so I ordered the box on October 8th. I received a confirmation of my order, nothing else. I waited, thought it'd be normal. Here's the thing, if you guys go to realtacklebox.com, they have a counter on the bottom. It is a false counter, 
it does not do anything but reset itself every 12 hours. So it always looks like it's counting down to tell you when they ship their boxes, which by the way are supposed to be shipped on the 10th of the month, which by the way means if you order after the, I guess they, uh, they said like within 24 hours of the 10th of the month, you should get your box shipped, I guess. At least that's what they told me because they were going to ship me a box in October, which never happened. Uh, and this counter just resets. So it's not true. No matter what time of month you go in there, you'll place your order. You're not going to get that box for a long, long time. So what happened was I let that time lapse. I was like, this is kind of weird. I haven't gotten any shipping confirmation. So I emailed them on October 23rd. No response. Uh, I emailed them again. November 4th. No response. November 9th. No response. Then I decided, let's try some different methods. I called them on November 13th. I left them a Facebook message, November 13th. And then again on the 16th, I sent them another Facebook message. I've had no responses from any of these things. And mind you now, November 17th, this is my last contact with them. This is a full month and almost 10 days after I placed my order. A month and 10 days, no communication after sending one, two, three, four, five, six communications and zero contact back from multiple sources, here's what happened. I sent an email. I titled my email, is this a scam? <laughs> and then in the body of the email, I said, hey, this is the last contact I'm going to have with you guys. If you don't ship my box today, I'm going to freak out. I didn't say that. I said, like, I basically said, hey, enjoy my 30 bucks. I am going to talk about this in an upcoming video, blah, blah, blah. And then within six minutes, Six minutes later, I got a Facebook message and a confirmation email that they were sending me two boxes, my October box that I didn't even know I was supposed to get, and the November box. So a shipping label was created. Now here's the deal. I was done at this point. I didn't want to be a part of this anymore. They also, by the way, locked me into six months, apparently somewhere buried in the website. If you order one box, you're in for six months, locked in for three of those, I guess, and then you can cancel. But since they never answer your emails, I didn't want to risk that. So I was like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just going to be done. I'm just done. I don't want to deal with this. So I contacted my bank. Pro tip. You can call your bank. You can say, goods not delivered, right? If this happens to you guys. I've got another company I'll tell you about in a second. If the company is not responding to your customer service requests, and you're not getting the items, and it's been over 30 days, maybe 45, you're well within your rights to contact your bank, say they're not doing their job, this could be a fraud claim, your bank will cover your money, it's called a chargeback, and they'll take care of it from there. They'll go to the business from there. So I went to my bank, they took care of me, got my 32 bucks back, it's not a cheap box, and they're gonna deal with it the rest of the way. So as far as I know, I'm good. We'll see if this company tries to charge me for future months because that would not be cool um but yeah that's that's my heads up to you that is like real tackle r-e-e-l tackle box be concerned uh that that is a situation that's not cool like i look for boxes that have good customer service are, are like open to working with you do their job hold themselves accountable to their actions the message they sent me was like oh yeah sorry about that we'll ship out two boxes today Sorry for any, any inconvenience. That's a major inconvenience. P.S. Again, it's the 29th now. That was on the 17th. The shipping label was created that day and never updated. Has not shipped. I have not received the box. I don't expect ever to receive the box and I don't care because I filed the claim with my bank and got my money back. So thanks, but no thanks, real tackle. Be careful, guys, is what I'm saying. So here's basically the deal. I am going to commit right now to say... If I unbox something on the channel, I've done some investigation into these boxes. I've looked at their Better Business Bureau, if I can. Mind you, Real Tackle Box had over 150 claims, 50 of which they have not addressed. They have an F- minus on BBB. So I'm going to start doing that. Uh, another one I mentioned recently on the Black Friday episode of the Burley Fishing Podcast Live, unfortunately, was Fishing Care Package. Now, if you guys have been around for a while and you've paid attention, you've done your research, maybe you followed other great YouTubers like Lojo, then you've probably seen some videos since 2017 or so about fishing care package not fulfilling what they say they're going to fulfill. So I ordered a 13 fishing Concept Z reel for 60 bucks because these guys, 
they were hammering Facebook ads. They were all over the place. They got their Shimano Curados were like 150 bucks. They got this Concept Z that was 60 bucks off of, I think you can find them for 150 on Tackle Warehouse, but you get the idea. Super cheap deals. The, people are gonna buy that. So I literally said, you know what? I'm gonna buy this and just see what this is all about. See if these guys really are as bad as everybody's claiming they are. Now, I'm gonna hold out on telling you if they are just yet. Now, that was on November 12th that I ordered. They say that they will ship your product within 14 to 21 days from a third-party warehouse. Now, you know we're already in trouble. Uh, so it's the 29th, right? So it's been 17 days since November 12th. So they have four more days to ship my product or you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna figure it out with my bank. Uh, so just a heads up to you. You may never see that product. I might still get this. I don't know. Maybe I get a shipping confirmation within four days and they're within their rights, right? Like I'm not doing anything yet. I'm just telling you ahead of time, like it's gonna take a long time to get your product, if at all. I've heard some horror stories from them. I've looked at their BBB. It's not great. So I'm a little concerned about that one as well. And I just wanna put that out there. So if I made that recommendation, I apologize if you've been screwed by that company and I am taking this time to commit to doing my research before mentioning any of these companies on this channel again. I will not do that. And if people say, I'll send you this stuff. If Real Tackle is like, hey, will you review my box? I'm gonna look them up first. I already know this. I would say no, no thank you. Please don't send me that box. I'm not interested. So that's my commitment to you guys. I just wanted you to know some of my customer service experience lately. I've, I've heard situations too where like Monster Bass or Mystery Tackle, they don't fulfill. That said, at least their customer service, as far as my experience and the experience of many others that I've dealt with, has been good. I've emailed Fishing Care Package, no responses. I've emailed Real Tackle a thousand times, no responses. So just not interested anymore, right? No thank you, have a nice life. That's my rant for this episode. No more rants going forward. We're gonna jump into the last couple boxes here today. Now, on the positive note, I did get some really cool baits from a subscriber. Midwest Warriors Bait and Tackle, some custom made baits that were fantastic. Here's a, here's a sneak peek. Let's go check the unboxing and my on the water bank fishing trip if you wanna see more, but here's some of their custom square bills. We got like that awesome bass color. Got this awesome color that goes into that nice orange tail. Great quality blanks, they fish really well. They have this cool like little custom jig with this very interesting skirt to it. Little chartreuse tip claws on there. Pretty solid spinner bait. This thing swam really well. I liked that. A nice little like multicolor skirt to it. Decent quality blades with some little little flash to them. They did send me some Ned rig jigs, so they they know things. <laughs> and some uh, some juiced up. Ned plastics, but then we actually hammered a nice pike on this custom chatterbait. It's got these holes in the blade there, which creates sort of a bubble trail. And first cast pike, I mean, you can't you can't argue with results, am I right? They're doing a custom Christmas package. Go check out the episode if you wanna learn more about that. It's kind of the one that I unboxed for 40 bucks. Not a bad deal for all those custom baits. And five bucks of that goes towards a veteran friend of theirs to pay his hospital bill. So great cause as well. Uh, then we had Vexan, right? So Vexan sent me a whole bunch of baits. These are two I'm gonna include in the giveaway for you guys. Whoever wins will get these two baits. Uh, but they sent us some square bills, some crank baits. They sent us some walleye fishing baits. Uh, it was really cool. And that was a great example of good customer service because I had complained about Vexan on a few previous unboxings. Uh, namely from MTB and this Canada box that I had got, Fish Allure. And the owner reached out to me and sent me a bag full of baits, like tons and tons, which is why I want to start including them in some of these giveaways, uh, just to check them out and see what they're really all about. So I fished those baits. They fished awesome. They performed really well. Uh, they're crankbaits and square bills that I would keep in my box almost at all times, and I think you guys will like them too. So that was a good example of real customer service in action. Don't just ignore your customers, right? Especially if they got a camera in front of them and they're gonna tell everybody else about you, all right? Maybe maybe try harder, just saying. Forgot about this, this is the Midwest Warriors again, but this is the one ounce with the treble hook. Nice little treble hook there. Chatterbait. This is like 
a super deep chatterbait. Haven't got a chance to fish it yet, but I did really like that. So this is normally the part where we have a showdown between MTB and Monster Bass. Unfortunately, I've switched to the ice box because it's winter now, and I'm not really gonna be casting for bass anymore until spring. Uh, usually fishing for pike right now, can go for steelhead, salmon, and then wait for the ice, the hard water to come in so I can actually ice fish for panfish, bass, and pike. We're gonna have some fun with that. So this is an ice box. It doesn't really like apply, but here's like your preview from the ice box. I did dunk a lot of these baits in the tank so you guys could see them in action. And that's what I'm gonna continue to do because I'm also gonna start getting the monster bass ice box. We got, we got some more stuff coming up. So anyways, we had a couple of plastics. This is the one everybody called the booger. <laughs> Tons of action on this. this is from Frostbite. This, this is like one of the best plastics I've seen for ice fishing. Love that. We had the poison apple. Interesting one, less action to this, has a little tickle tail to it, much more of a, a stiffer, maybe more durable plastic. Some of these, I didn't know what to do with these. Somebody in the comments, thank you, pointed out, you can use these, you tie on like a leader, you can drop shot this with a leader, and you can throw a little minnow on that. Great, gonna get some more live bait ice fishing in this year, it's gonna happen. Got a couple of jigs, by the way, this is how I store them. This is a, jig box you can pick these up i pick mine up at fly fishing stores but you pick them up anywhere this is double sided so tons and tons of jigs for ice fishing these little pink guys right here these were the widow maker jigs those are pretty slick i like them a lot had some of these classic moon jigs not bad just a little different shape then we had the classic k and e stopper lures jig right there with a the little tickle tail plastic that slides onto it all stuff I like to fish through the ice. Then we had four bigger baits in here. So we had this nice little spoon. Again, gonna leave a little bit of a bubble trail slash move a lot more in the water due to those holes that are in there. Blitz Lures Blade Bait. These are classics. Can be fishing this thing right now even. Just jigging it in deeper water would work. That Lunker Hunt Icy Glide. I really like this. Tried to slow it down on the video. Didn't do a great job, but it's sweet, it's got tons of action. It's got these little blades coming off the side and it's glow painted. So you can power it up with a flashlight or something. Somebody mentioned in the comments, thank you again. You guys are awesome in the comments, by the way. I learned so much from you guys. That's why I really read all the comments and respond to them as much as I can. Uh, much to my wife's chagrin. Chagrin, word of the day. All right, then we have this jig and wrap. This thing has an insane amount of action. This is from our boys. Vexen, the redemption month for these guys. These guys are awesome. So pretty cool bait, got this glow resin here. Again, you can charge that up, a little red treble. It's gonna do work. So I thought the box was pretty good. Then someone mentioned in the comments, again, we're back to the comments thread, that this box is from last year. To which I said, ah, I guess that doesn't surprise me. I mean, they probably have leftovers of these and if they're not at Dick's Sporting Goods yet, then I guess they're gonna repurpose them for this year. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's an early box. I don't know. If you guys notice something like that, please let me know. Something like that's gonna dock them a little bit in terms of my power rankings or how I feel about the box. It's like, are they still good baits? Yes. Were they sitting on a shelf for a year? Yeah. Is that the worst thing? No, it's fine. But you would like to get some newer stuff, of course. So let's get to these guys. We got Monster Bass here. This was... Even with all like the takeover boxes we did this year for Monster Bass, this was one of my favorites. Um, so here's, let's go through them. These are not open and I'm gonna include these in the giveaway because I get duplicates every month being on the ambassador team. I get a chance to test these baits out. So, you know, I'm part of a bigger team that has a say in what baits go to what region. And that's something that I'm really proud of. That's something that I love doing, and that's why I work with a company like Monster Bass. So just a heads up to you guys. So this is the Bama Baits Jerkbait. It's a floating jerkbait, does float pretty fast, but it's got that cool little like red treble, the tide treble there on the back, which I think is awesome. Has a ton of action when you're popping the rod. Does have a more narrow lip there that you can see, so it's a tighter wobble, tighter action to it, but it's a pretty dang good jerkbait. Then we had the Straight Classic. This is that Strike King Pro Model crankbait. It's fantastic, good colorway, something a little more natural, a little brighter for like the stained waters I fish, and uh, it does its dang job. Dives five to eight feet. 
and it looks good. This thing surprised me. So this is the Lunker Candy Baby Lipless. This thing is tiny. I could use this ice fishing. I might even, I do have an extra one. But and that blue chrome is just money. It's a good color. Uh, it's got a lot of action. This had more action than that Lunker Hunt Impact Lipless, which came in the Secret Bait Box, which is what was surprising to me. Uh, but awesome nonetheless. Another body bait we had in the box, this is the Excite Baits X Messers Baits Custom Color. It's like this bluegill natural fish color to it. It's got a sick paint job underneath there. Check that out. I think that looks awesome. Colorway looks great. It's polished up nice. It swims really well. And it caught me probably my last bass of the season this year. So that was sweet. We got this thing out of the water and we caught a three pound bass and that was nice. Just icing on the cake. Chef's kiss. Then we had a bunch of plastics. So we got three things of plastics here. The Jean LaRue Craw. These are excellent craws. They have great action. Uh, they're made for jigging. Great for a Tokyo rig too, just saying. Look like that, you rip them apart. They are very salty, very dense, will sink, will move, but big flapping claws when you break that apart. And that middle appendage does some work as well. Sounds weird, don't care. Um, they are a little bit less durable, so be careful tearing them apart is the best thing I can say for you. Nonetheless, a great craw bait. We also had the KBD Ned Ochos. These are one of my favorite Ned rigging plastics. I love these things. They come in great colors. They're very durable. They're not Z-Mans, but they're very durable. I do like them a lot. Uh, and it's something I always keep in my Ned rig kit. So did a whole video that did really well on the Monster Bass YouTube channel. Go check it out if you want to see on three main ways that I like to rig Ned rigs that I have a lot of success on. So you can go check that out too. I'll leave a link in the description as well. Then we have these guys. So these are color changing. Now, my water's too cold for this. Like they don't change colors. Nothing, nothing happened. They just stay this darker color. I tested them out. I made a TikTok and an Instagram reel on it. And it's gotta go into like boiling water to change colors, but then it turns chartreuse, which could look really good on the tail. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how much I'm gonna use it, but interesting nonetheless. What I did wanna show you though real quick, so here's, you know, it's like a basic little skinny worm with a curly tail right on the end. But I wanna combine it with the last thing that came in the box, last thing for all the unboxings this month. This is the EWG by Spearpoint Hooks. Pretty great hook. I wanna show you something real quick on rigging these because apparently some people had some trouble with this. So we're just gonna Texas rig it with this smart baits. Run this baby up just like you normally would. Now, the issue a lot of people are having with this is because of this little sweep here and how long this hook point is, they're having trouble getting it straight, right? So the suggestion from one of the owners of the company was to actually take your bait and then go in at an angle. So what I like to do is I like to roll it up quite a bit. And rather than stabbing straight through the bait, like you normally would, you're actually gonna come through on an angle. Okay, so see how I'm coming through on an angle that way? You're gonna punch all the way through the bait. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna rig straight every single time. And it's gonna stay straight. What I can see because the bait's a little more translucent, it's just not gonna show up on camera, is that the hook is running through on this angle. And well, you can see there. So I got the elbow right below that. But it, look how straight it is. I mean, this is as straight as you're gonna get on any EWG. I think it's gonna do fine. It's gonna stay on there pretty well and look good. So just make sure, again, re-rig this real quick. Do what you normally do, roll your bait up just like that, but rather than going straight through, so I could go straight down, right, like that, pull through, now it's sitting way back here. But then, here's the problem, you go to rig it weedless, that's what it's gonna do. You're gonna get that hump, right? So don't do that, roll it up, poke just the tip in, then push it through on an angle like that. Boom. And now see how close it is to that hook point? That's what we want. So now it's gonna sit straight, even when we punch back in and rig it weedless. And it's fine. I think it's a great hook. Also, you can see my hands are so warm that I'm starting to get some of that color change to happen. <laughs> Neat. All right, you guys. We have gone through 
every gosh dang bait we got this month just about. Uh, even boxes we didn't get and never will get. So this is a fun one. There's a lot of things in here. What's the power ranking here? Here's my power ranking, you guys. If I was looking at only these five boxes, this is the precise order I would put them in. Keep in mind, this is an ice box from MTB, so we're not even gonna put this into the power ranking, but here's my power ranking. This is what I'd be looking at. You got Monster Bass, this is the most well-rounded box this month, bar none. Six cents, less baits, but you got the cool reusable bag, and they always have like amazing detail on their baits. We got that secret bait box, the Premier Bass box, coming in hot. Good price range, decent amount of baits. Not all that I would use, but decent amount of baits nonetheless. And then Tackle Monkey here on the bottom. Least amount of baits, two body baits. One was a frog. That's really the point that, that got me, right? Cool little thing with the AccuCull grip savers that you get. But all in all, it's got to be down here for me. So there it is. One, two, three, four. Separately, <laughs> uh, decent box for the ice nonetheless oh and real tackle way over here let's get to that giveaway huh from all the main boxes as well as some bonus boxes i'm gonna pack this thing up and here's how we're gonna do it i'm just gonna throw this into a box which i will ship to you let's pick out some baits in this giveaway you guys are gonna get vexan deep thud square bill this is in sherry's shad also in sherry shad i just think it's a cool color now you got a deep dive and crankbait as well boom boom Crank's like eight foot plus, square bill's like four foot plus. So we got those two. You're gonna get the Lunker Candy Lipless, the Strike King Pro Model Crankbait, the Bama Baits Jerk Bait. You're gonna get a brand new pack of the Smart Baits Color Changing Worm. You're gonna get a pack of KVD Net Ochos. You're gonna get the O Baits White Flukes, that Rapala Four Foot Diving Crankbait. Oh my gosh, so many body baits, am I right? A Blitz Frog it's for somebody who can maybe still fish frogs florida boys and girls anybody no going to the wall which is not just baits i don't like it's just baits i don't use that often all right so hear me out uh i'm gonna throw you another lipless i kind of like this one so this is the carl's bait and tackle i think it's called the thwacker it's a nice little lipless got a lot of action to it very tapered edge body there you're gonna like it cool little colorway as well and this Bait Labs jerkbait. It's a little mini jerkbait. It's a sinking jerkbait. A nice steep little lip to it. Tons of action. Gets down to about four feet. It gets the job done. And it sinks. It can go down forever, really. We go with two more body baits. This thing is body bait packed. We're gonna cover all the water depths. So I'm gonna throw you one more Vexan here. This is our super deep 12 foot diving crankbait. This is in golden shiner color. And finally, cream of the crop right here. This is that sick, custom painted square bill. This is coming from Midwest Warriors Bait and Tackle. I think you guys are gonna like this a lot. I wanna send this to a loving home and I wish you best of luck catching some freaking donks on it, all right? So let's do it. There you go, you got three plastics. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven baits in this giveaway. So 11 baits, three bags of plastics, you're gonna get it done, all right? And of course, as always in these giveaways, you get a burly fishing shirt, boom, a hat, boom, and a sticker. By the way, guys, if you're looking to pick up your own other than from a giveaway, there's a merch store down below so you can just click them and buy them whenever you want. And they're also available in some different, more custom colors on monsterbass.com. We'll have hats there as well very soon. Hats are coming in soon at monsterbass.com. So go check that out when you can. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was informative and helpful for you in your purchasing decisions. That's what we aim to do here at Burley Fishing. Again, reminder for the giveaway, you gotta be a subscriber. You gotta comment below and make sure you have your notifications on so you get an alert when I comment back at you to tell you that you're a winner. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to pick somebody else. You got 24 hours to respond back to me. That way I can be fair to everyone. We will have a winner for this giveaway and it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to pick them. Thank you so much for watching the video today. We've got more reviews, unboxings, and fishing videos coming your way. So be sure to subscribe, smash a like on this video, ring that notification bell, and we will see you guys out on the water.